Hello and welcome everyone to Let's Play Tomb Raider 4 The Last Revelation Zelda 115 speaking. Let me welcome you back to the trenches. Only levels we're gonna see from now on are the trenches, the street bazaar and <laughs> as a grand finale the citadel gate leading into the citadel level. So we are done with Chambers of Tulun, City of the Dead and we are not going back. Which is good because we found everything there was to do there. So in this particular visit of the trenches we are gonna well, we are not going to find any new items, kill any new enemies, discover any new secrets. But what we are going to do is a series of interesting things that will enable us to reach the Street Bazaar part of Cairo. So, let me actually show rather than tell. First things first, we have a fully upgraded bike, which is very good, and it's one of the ingredients to success over here. Let's leave it parked like this. We're going to use the bike to make a jump across this ramp over here behind the closed door. In order to do that, we need to, yep, you guessed it, open the door and no, that is not what the roof key is for. It's for a different kind of door that I've shown during my first visit into the trenches. Now mind you, in case you didn't do so already, please destroy the blockage over here with even a normal arrow will work, no need to waste a revolver bullet on an explosive arrow or a poisonous one. Uh, so that this will allow you to shimmy across. This is something we already did, hence you will find this trap door open. If not, just make a standing grabbing ju uh, jump on its ledge and Lara will force it down with a very satisfying sound. Also, uh, straight after this crawl space you will find a couple of poison uh, crossbow bolts, if, in case you haven't already like I did. And finally you will find yourself here above the starting area in this crawl space which will allow you to shimmy across. So let's do just that. So again, this is a repeat of everything we've already done. But, you know, I try to point these things out just in case you have a slightly different order and you're not, you know, following what I do strictly to the letter, just using it as a companion in case you are stuck and checking the video or something like that. That's, for example, how I used to do things uh, after the dark age of being without internet. You know, I still tackle them on my own and then I checked online if I was stuck. That's when I felt really brave, you know, to first tackle these things on my own. Now, just like I said before, we didn't need the roof key because you can just make it across on that platform by making a running, grabbing jump. But it doesn't seem to be something that developers intended, so... What I'm curious about is, if we start shimmying across again, if a swarm of locusts will appear, you know what, let me do something, because the swarm was supposed to appear, but it didn't last time, and I'm curious as to why. Now, if it's not these tiles... Oh, that's exactly it. <laughs> oh, so another mystery solved. So if you want to avoid this swarm of locusts... Oh, man, this is great. Then just make a running, grabbing jump and you successfully will. Oh, this is perfect. I love this. So, another trick learned. I'm, I'm super happy about that. Okay, so let's make it across. And again, as you could have seen, a crouching really minimize any damage we took. And now insert the roof key where the sun doesn't shine. I hate the fact that there is no keyhole indication that you need a key for this door to open. So you find yourself here where we did before, just using that uh, super turbo pro expert level jump. So let's make it here. No reason to crawl into that crawl space, instead shimmy again. And you will find yourself in an interesting tunnel where we will need to practice our aim somewhat, but it's super easy. But there is another thing that kind of pisses me off about this. So, mischievous music, like at the very beginning of Angkor Wat in Cambodia. <laughs> Look at that, there is some red light over there. This actually where the soldier was patrolling. As you can see, he died somewhere around here. I see no pickup, which is very good. Uh, on the other side of the street, we see a box with a red light. We have the normal arrow selected, that is very good. So now if we just zoom in... Now, it's not sufficient to just hit the fuse box. You need to hit the red light. I don't know why, but now that the steam particle effects appear, you have successfully destroyed it is maybe a strong word? I have no idea. What this did was that it unlocked the door I've shown you at the beginning. How are you supposed to know that? Beats me. Honestly, it really beats me. Now, you can make a jump across, but you will just find yourself on the other side. Doesn't help us. We need to make a jump with the bike, right? And basically, 
that's where the red light was that we were shooting at from across there, right? And that's also where the soldier was patrolling. So just to, you know, alleviate some of the confusion. Now, this doesn't look like it, but it's a fairly difficult jump. However, after what we've been through in the City of the Dead... Come on, Lara, you were born to be wild. Do this. Ha! Perfect! Oh, that felt great. Still having control over Lara, allowing her to dismount. So, important thing, do not block this passageway with your bike, because you will actually need to enter this area from the other side. So make sure this is clear. And we are going to say goodbye to our trusty, well actually Jean-Yves, but we stole it to rescue him, so that what fair is fair, uh, companion, because we aren't going to see you for quite a while. By the time we reach you again, we will be ready to go to the Citadel Gate to finish our job. Now, I'm not sure if you noticed, this wasn't really highlighted well, but the moment we touched this slope with our bike, we removed some of the sand from this slope, revealing this tile, meaning that we can now finally climb out without the help of bike. Which is actually necessary, because we'll find ourselves here again in the trenches, from the street bazaar level, without our bike. And this, what I've just shown you, is the only way to get back up here. Now, the ladder over here leads into the street bazaar itself. So, considering there were no items, enemies or secrets, this was still a really interesting take on the remainder of the trenches level, but that's still not everything it has to offer. So, let me pause it right here, and we are pretty much in exactly the same stage we were before. We have found 13 items, all of them that is, we have found no secrets because there are none in trenches, but we still have only killed 12 out of 13 enemies, the 13th enemy will be available during our fourth and final visit of the trenches. So, with that in mind, let me just make a save here. And I will see you guys next time in the Street Bazaar. Finally!